I'm Patrick Massey, and this is uh, my Mesoamerican pyramid down here. Um, really, the idea for this was uh, is you know again, I, I definitely I love the historical castle building. That's really I'm like a one trick you know po pony as far as that concerned. But uh, uh, you don't see most of what you see historical builders uh, focus on is like uh, stuff from the old world, the Middle East, you know, um, uh, you know, Asia, Europe. Uh, and, and we don't really see a lot of like the new world brought to life in brick form. And so that was really my focus, you know. Uh, and, and to me, too, is that like Mesoamerican architecture, some of it is just as intricate and fascinating and, and uh, uh, you know, as, as anything you'll see in the old world, you know. So and, and one of the things I really enjoyed about this build is if you look like this is a simple build like you pretty much every stud is going to be pointed up on this thing you know besides the water my and one of the things I wanted to kind of show with this is like look you can take a really simple build and make it look good by just like focusing on and and that's how with all of my stuff I'm I don't build things that are real complex you know you really see like right now there's like a uh, an arms race in the castle building world about who can be like more over the top detail who can just you know you just go fancier with their techniques and stuff and I want to show like look you can build really simple things, but if you focus on color, on on texture, on uh, on especially composition, like here, you know, you start with very low. You got the temple, and then you got the tree. The trees took a, a really rough, had a rough time of it on the trip trip here, and I only kind of built them partially back. But they really they they're supposed to tower more in the back, and and I feel like especially in the photography I took of it, it makes it look so much bigger because by having that foreground small and work your way up to a higher background you really get an you get a deep sense of dimension and I think the color too, the um, having the darker tones in the back uh, kinda gives it a little denser look in the back as well and uh, and again I feel like just adds to the dimension of it, makes it makes it appear a little bigger. And it's based off uh, Chichen Itza or El Castillo in Chichen Itza, Mexico, which is a very popular uh, pyramid that folks go to. Um, uh, so yeah, it's based off that. People keep asking me why I don't have like a sacrifice or ritual scene, but uh, you know, it's a kid event and stuff. So you can you don't want to go too gory, <laughs> right? You can see the real picture on floor or the yeah, you know, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so one thing I noticed with this is you have kind of a nice like frame, almost the base around it there. Is that something you commonly do with your builds, or how do you decide as you're working on something whether you'll kind of frame it like that? Well, it's a, it depends. I usually think about it beforehand. This one I thought it's a nice square build. I think a, a border would really work well for it. Um, generally, though, over the last few years, I've really focused because of the challenge aspect of going with more irregular borders. Like if you saw, uh, you know, this one here, as I like, I, I really prefer not to even have a border at all. It looks more organic, you know. Um, but with certain things, of course, the border does like it does make that perfect like vignette diorama, you know. Um, but uh, I've had a lot of fun, and it's been challenging, but learned a lot about uh, about like building landscape more by just focusing on doing irregular borders. So folks out there, you know, that's something I would I would suggest, you know, is give that a shot. And it, again, like it looks more organic. I feel like it's uh, uh, just more lifelike. So. Definitely, yeah. Well, I think this build turned out great, so thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, no problem. Thank you guys.